Food insecurity, a constant concern for many families. The amount of money needed to be food secure is the highest it's been in 20 years. That's according to a study by Feeding America. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sarah Diamond. Casey Marler has the night off. News Channel 11's Catherine Simpson joins us now live from Kingsport to discuss food insecurity that's here in our region. Catherine. Yeah, Sarah, that study that you referenced, results say that one in four children here in Northeast Tennessee are food insecure, and that's obviously an even more severe issue in those summer months when they're not being fed at school. But staff with the Second Harvest Food Bank of Northeast Tennessee say they're hoping to double the number of children that they're able to feed through summer programs this year. Second Harvest Food Bank of Northeast Tennessee's Development Director Kristen Reedy says hunger is higher than ever and still on the rise in our region. Groceries are more expensive. Rent is more expensive. Um, one, one mishap, your car tears up, you have a medical bill you didn't expect, and one of the first things that people do is cut food out of their budget. According to a recent study by Feeding America, food insecurity in the region jumped from 14% in 2021 to 17% in 2022. That's why the food bank, local school systems, and other partner organizations are pooling their resources to fill the gap left when school ends. 50% of our students um, are eligible for free and reduced benefits. Kingsport City Schools nutrition specialist Jennifer Walker told me the school system will offer meals at severe middle during the month of June, but they're also working with the state to provide families with an additional $120 EBT this summer. It is new and it's a federal program and not all states signed up to use this money, but the state of Tennessee did this summer. Staff at Second Harvest are working to feed 30,000 kids this summer, double what they served last year thanks to new state regulations that allows the food bank to send home grocery boxes like this one in addition to serving on-site meals. Coming back every single day is hard because kiddos have different schedules. Grandparents might be taking care of them. An older brother or sister might be taking care of them. So getting them out every day to eat lunch or breakfast is difficult, but this is an easier solution just to provide food. Second Harvest Food Banks uh, has a tool on its website that allows you to search for the nearest food distribution site to your uh, home if you put in your address to see if your family is eligible for summer EBT benefits. You can check the website for the State Department of Human Services. Reporting live in Kingsport, Katherine Simpson, News Channel 11. Back to you. Katherine, thanks.